over the course of almost 50 years, from the early 1960s until his death in 2010, Finnish-born artist Veja Ronkinen constructed nearly 500 concrete figures and displayed them on the grounds of the home he'd lived in since birth. The majority of these are human statues performing a variety of activities. One noteworthy site features a cluster of roughly 200 figures, purportedly self-portraits of the artist, in various yoga poses. The sculptures are not particularly lifelike, but rather possess an otherworldly and at times downright sinister quality, with blank, sunken eyes, skeletal body proportions, ghoulish grins, and, in some cases, the use of real human teeth. Non-human figures include large tree-like structures with cone-shaped branches. Although Ronkinen allowed some people to tour the garden while he was alive, he was reportedly never comfortable drawing attention to his work. He never charged visitors, but he did maintain a guest book they could sign as they left the property. Although he almost never engaged with anyone personally. In fact, that in 2007 when he was awarded the Finlandia Prize, his brother went to accept the award on his behalf. Following his death, the sculpture garden and accompanying property was purchased by Finnish businessman Reino Yusitalo who, together with the Union for Rural Culture and Education, refurbished the sculptures as needed and opened it to the public for tours. Visitors can explore the vast property, taking in each face that greets them, faces that both gleam happiness and exude terror, along with every emotion in between. Some figures even boast a mouth full of real human teeth, grinning innocently, happily, or sneeringly. That fact that few were aware of Ronkinen's mysterious pastime adds to the intriguing essence of the garden, yet his sculptures still allow one to guess his passions, thoughts, and interests. For example, he must have enjoyed practicing, or at least studying, the art of yoga, having crafted some 200 to 250 figures, frozen in a variety of yoga poses meant to be self-portraits. Other statues represent cultural moments, such as two naked women with long hair braids washing laundry in colorful blue bowls using a washboard. In another scene nestled into the trees, a man plays a cantile, a traditional Finnish instrument, while ladies dance around him. Not particularly lifelike by design, some faces resemble ghouls while others reflect a look that is anything but human, amplified by speakers hidden deep inside that exude unintelligible sounds. The exposition has turned into a tourist attraction for the little town of Paracala. Around 25,000 people visit there every year and the new owners of the park after Vejo's death have planned to make his park an even bigger attraction. Would you ever visit Ronkinen's garden? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos.